Hello viewers, we'll now take your secondary English lesson number 8, a birthday letter. Let us learn something about Nehru and Indra. Jawaharlal Nehru's birthday is celebrated all over India on 14th November each year as Children's Day. Some of his books written by him and others are worth reading. Those are Discovery of India, an autobiography, Glimpses of India, a bunch of old letters, Jawaharlal speeches. Jawaharlal Nehru became the first Prime Minister of Independent India. He remained in office for 17 years until his death in 1964. Indira Gandhi, his only daughter, became the first woman Prime Minister of India in 1966. She remained in office till 31st October 1984 when she was assassinated. Now, let us begin by asking some questions. What do you think would a person write in a birthday letter? When does a person feel the need to write a letter to someone on his or her birthday? In this lesson, we are going to talk about a letter which Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, wrote to his daughter Indra Priyadarshini Nehru, later Indira Gandhi, on her 13th birthday in the year 1930. India was under British rule then. Since the freedom movement was at its peak, then a number of prominent leaders were arrested and put in different jails in the country. Nehru too was imprisoned and kept in Naini jail in Allahabad then. Young Indra was in Masuri then. Nehru was very fond of his daughter and it is from him that Indra learnt about the history of India and her political career took shape. In the first letter, Book of Nature, he talks about how life began in the universe. He speaks to his daughter on the wide range of topics, including languages, trade, history, geography, science, epics, and evolution. I'm sure you are familiar with the lesson, A Birthday Letter. Let's understand the contents of the lesson. Read section 8.1 from the line in 1930 India was not free from having a talk. In this section Nehru talks about his constraints because he was not able to send any material gift to Indira Gandhi on her 13th birthday. That's because he was imprisoned by the British and put in jail. As explained earlier Political conditions in the country were very bad. The freedom movement was gaining momentum and to curb the uprising, the British forces had captured many leaders and put them in jail. Nehru was too one of them. On this birthday, since he could not celebrate her birthday in the usual manner, he chose to write a loving letter to her. Let us see what he wrote in the letter. Nehru begins by writing that all these years she had been receiving gifts and good wishes on her birthday. But this year was quite different. He wondered what was an appropriate gift which he could send from the prison. In the absence of any material gift, the only gifts which he could send her were of the mind and spirit. These gifts even the high walls of the prison house could not have stopped from reaching her. What did Nehru mean by saying?